45 ACP. It's one of my favorite rounds to shoot. I love the recoil pulse with a 45. A lot of it has to do with me just learning to shoot with 1911s. In fact, I used to use a Colt Gold Cup and a Series 70 government model uh, in IBSC matches for a number of years. But I'm also a big CZ fan. And CZ came out in 1997 with their Model 97. And I've always wanted a CZ 97. So just recently, I had an opportunity to buy one of the CZ 97Bs. And this is their new model for 2013. So we're going to take a look at some of the things about the CZ 97 that make this a really great round, especially if you're more toward the large bore side, which I typically like. But we're also going to look at some improvements to this gun that make this even more of an appealing firearm. Now, a lot of times I'll just bypass going through what you get with your gun. But considering that CZs are fairly difficult to come by because they're in such demand. In fact, uh, CZ USA out of Kansas, who is the importer for the CZs out of the Czech Republic, as soon as the pistols and their rifles come into the warehouse, they are already marked to ship out. So what you get with your CZ pistol is you get two 10-round magazines, you get a couple of cleaning tools, you also get a takedown tool for the barrel bushing, you get a gun lock, and you get an excellent owner's manual with a target and a really nice case to keep your CZ well protected. First things first. But here are the three essentials for me out of this package is the pistol with the two extra magazines and this little takedown tool that we'll look at in a minute. The CZ-97B was introduced in 1997, obviously. This is their 45 version of their world famous CZ-75. And as Jeff Cooper called the CZ-75, the world's best service nine. This is just a bigger brother to the CZ-75. It has two 10 round double stacked steel magazines. It's a double single action pistol. And what that means is when you pull the trigger, it actuates the hammer. But then on subsequent rounds, you have single action after that. It does have a nice commander style hammer, real safety here on the frame that locks the hammer back. And you can carry it in this configuration, which is considered cocked and locked very reminiscent of the 1911. It's all steel. It has a full shroud that comes all the way up that matches the slide. One of the things about a CZ-75 is that the slide itself comes down and then the shroud only comes partially up this way. So it makes it a kind of a narrow slide. But this is more in line with the CZ-75 SP-01. The SP-01 is really close in the same dimensions. Uh, the biggest difference, obviously, is here where the chamber shows from the barrel. Of course, it's much larger to accommodate the 45 ACP, 9mm with the SP-01. But the real difference is in the grip. The grip on the SP-01, very ergonomic, it's fairly small. Of course, that accommodates the 9mm. With 45 ACP, you're going to have a little bit of a larger grip. Now, one of the complaints from many people that have bought the CZ-97B is the grip. These were typically with wood grips. They were pretty thick in your hand. And so it was just a large pistol that was a little bit thick, probably more like a Model 21 Glock. But one of the things that CZ did, in fact, it was just this year that they moved to the aluminum grip. And it is a super thin grip. It's very narrow. It fits well in the hand. And then when you have this beaver tail right here, uh, CZ is already really ergonomic. But when I put this in my hand, it felt like a 1911. Maybe a little better. Shh, don't tell anybody. The aluminum grips are just extremely well finished. They're very comfortable. And you can see how thin this makes this pistol. Of course, you have serrations right on the back strap and on the front strap serrations right here on the trigger guard. There is a small scallop here in the trigger guard which gives you a good place if you have gloved hands. The magazine release has nice serrations and it allows you to get a little bit of a grip and then the mag drops free very easily. With the beaver tail here that's already integral with the frame itself, it, it has a really great feel to it. It is thinner than the 9mm SP-01. But the difference comes, especially with the thickness here. It's going to be a little thicker with your 9, but it's going to be thinner. With this, 
the way it rides in your hand, it just really fits nice. So I'm telling you, if you ever get a chance and you see one of these, especially with the aluminum grip on the table, you are going to love the grip on this gun. My hands are about medium size. I don't have really large hands. So sometimes 45s can be pretty large, except for the 1911s. But this grip, I'm telling you, you're going to love it. Very reminiscent of the 1911. And really, that's what they were shooting for, is to get very close to the feel of the 1911 and the function. And to be honest with you, I think CZ's really done it with this pistol. And yet you're going from 7 or 8 to 1 to 10 and 1. 10 and 1 for a 45 ACP is sweet. Beside the aluminum grips, which is a brand new addition, they also added the front sight and it's a fiber optic. So it really makes it easy to be able to pick up your sights. You can see the fiber optic front sight and how it really glows, especially in daylight. And this is even in shade. In the sunlight, it's just a glowing orb. Now being all steel, the weight is 2.54 pounds, which is about 41 ounces. The 70 series government that I was just showing you weighs about 38 ounces. So it's pretty comparable in weight. It has a barrel of just under 5 inches, 4.8 inches. It's a cold hammer forged barrel. It's more expensive to produce, and yet the quality is much greater than your standard forged barrels. The manual safety is very positive. Again, it allows you to carry cocked and locked, just like the 1911. Now, they do make the CZ-75 BD, which is a decocker. So when you release your safety, your hammer will fall. With the decocker, typically you have extra parts that interfere with your trigger pull. So the trigger pull on this piece is really nice. Double action is smooth all the way back. Single action, you have some take up, and then a little bit of creep here. It does have a firing pin safety. There is a hammer stop safety as well. And then in the top right here is a round indicator. So there are a number of safety features that are incorporated in this pistol. Now the finish is a black poly coat. Very durable. It just has a real quality look to it. And as I was going over this pistol when I first got it, the craftsmanship and the workmanship on these is just incredible. Uh, the CZ-75s, the SP-01s, same thing. All the CZs that I've owned have been really exceptionally well-manufactured guns. They also make a polished blue version of this. It's a little extra, but it is a beautiful finish. It's only 1.4 inches in width, so it's a pretty slim design. Again, very similar to the 1911 as far as thinness, the pointability. Because of the ergonomics, it really allows you to get right on target. On the slide, there are double serrations here on the front and back, so it allows you to charge your pistol from here or from the rear. Very positive, the scallops face back, so it really gets a good purchase when you pull your slide back. Now, of course, anytime you're disassembling a firearm, you need just to double check, make sure that the gun is unloaded, magazine removed. We're going to remove the slide stop from this side. So you see these two marks here on the slide and on the frame. You're going to want to match those up. Take your magazine and right here at this little nub, we're going to push it through. And it pops out your slide release. Okay, we're going to go ahead and remove the slide release. And then just let your slide move forward. Now one thing you're going to notice, and this is the same with the CZ-75 and the SP-01, is that it has internal slide rails. Here you can see the rails and they fit down into the frame. This makes this gun extremely stable platform. When you put this slide down into the rails, it really locks up solid. But it also brings the slide even lower down into a bore axis on your hand. So this allows for even better follow-up shots and less felt recoil. Because it stabilizes the slide into the frame so well, you're also going to get better accuracy. Now we're going to remove the recoil spring and the guide rod. One thing to note is that the guide rod is polymer. And then we're going to remove the guide rod housing. Now you're going to notice these little divots all the way around the barrel bushing. Here on the tool, if you'll look on one side, there is a little nub here that fits down into wherever you line this up on the bushing itself. Then we're going to go counterclockwise and turn it. Now, once you get it turned, it's really easy just to unscrew.
and then the barrel comes right out. Here's just a look at the barrel and the lockup system. Of course, reassembly is fairly easy. Slide your barrel in, reattach your barrel bushing. Now, one of the tricks about your barrel bushing is once you get it flush and you get it really tight, you're going to want to line up one of these divots to the recoil spring housing. If the bushing is turned here, it's not going to allow the bushing to come forward. So make sure you get it tight where you have a divot and if you need to you can bring it back out. But this is going to hold your bushing into place. Reinsert your guide rod into the spring and then back into the recoil housing and then onto your barrel. Of course, the internal slide rails, so the slide goes into the rails. And you're going to want to line up your marks again. Now what I found is, is typically I put in my slide stop first to go ahead and get in line. And then make sure that the two hash marks are lined up. And then snap it right back into place. Let go. back in business. Now CZ USA does warehouse parts and things for your pistol. You can go to the CZ website and get a lot of different things that you may not be able to find for your CZ-97B or your CZ-75 family of pistols. One of the things of course is a holster that's really important. This actually, I bought this for a CZ-75. In fact it was for my PCR compact. The CZ-97 fits right in just right. Most of your differences on the pistol from the CZ-75 9mm or 40 version are going to be in the width here of the grip. So it's not going to interfere with fitting a nice holster for your pistol. Now I bought this on eBay and I'm going to tell you that's one of the best places I've found if you're looking for something a little unusual to be able to go to eBay and typically there's somebody making a product to fit your gun. Uh, one of the things, though, that I would say that would be a little bit of a downside is that the magazines are about 40 to 45 bucks a piece, and I did see some on GunBroker. But it does come with two magazines, which is a really good start. Adding a couple of others wouldn't hurt. The CZ-97B is an excellent service pistol. It's a great home defense pistol. Excellent if you're doing a lot of tactical shooting and going to different tactical classes. I think you're going to find that this is an excellent option. Uh, for concealed carry, obviously weighing over two and a half pounds and being such a large pistol, it's going to be difficult, but there are many guys out there who can do it. But if you're a small to medium frame guy, you're going to have a time concealing this pistol. Having a good, solid home defense pistol that you can take out to the range and really enjoy shooting, nothing better. The CZ-75 design, which the 97 is part of that family, is one of the most copied pistols in the world. And that says a lot for this design. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. because the slide is riding lower in your hand and it's more on the bore axis. So this is really a pleasure to shoot. And with a muzzle like this, comfort can be very important. CZ-97B, man's pistol.